All right. That right there is called progress. Yes. So, um, valves took me forever. Don't ask me why. I uh, lost count of how many times the cam in, cams went in and out until I got the right, right settings. Had to order some shims because uh, I got 948s for a KTM. I got 10 mils, but I have no 7.48. So, got it all done. Um... It's in the bike, which is awesome. Um, changed as many of the seals as I could. Put in the OEM cam chain tensioner. Uh, reused this gasket. I'm sure this is going to come bite me in the ass, but uh, new gasket behind the oil filter. Reuse that one. Uh, what else? Um, yeah. Um, need to order this bolt and the other two bolts here because allegedly they are different somehow. I have no idea how. I'm guessing there's a spacer that goes in here for sure, now that I'm looking at it. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's in, and I'm hitting the pause button on that because I'm doing a side project to the project. So the keen-eyed viewers will notice that this is not a 900 fork. It's a 954. And uh, you might have seen that uh, pile of uh, donkey feces earlier. Um, it came with a motor. It had very low compression. Probably because of that. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a quick clean. Uh, pull the oil pan. See what the innards look like. See if there's any swerfega and other delicious stuff. And uh, the biggest thing is with these is the gearboxes. So where I'm going at this is if the VIN's good, because I have a complete bike, I might end up with not one, but two project bikes. So uh, yeah, stand by. All right, so plot thickens. Let's see. Not sure if you can see that, but the bottom case is a crack and the village idiot visited and went to town with the JB weld. So I'm pretty sure you can fix this. Um, give the head a quick clean, put the spark plugs in and I believe spark plug number four the thread is stripped. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to let this sit overnight. And the uh, last thing is I'm going to flip it upside down and show you the beautiful bores. Okie dokie. Bores. Honestly, besides getting water in them, they don't look too terrible. We'll give it the old uh, nail test here. Hang on, I'm going to Turn this bad boy here. I need more hands. Turns nicely enough. Yeah, the backside, uh, how do you say, is ducked. Backside here is pretty bad too. I don't honestly think a whole note to take that out. That's bad. Turn it again here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, um, well, we let that sit overnight. That plug is fine. I just need to get chased, so I got it upside down. Got some degreasing up in there, and uh, I don't know. I might maybe grab a hone and see what happens. I mean, this whole thing was really bought for the front end, so 
I can make it work. Great. If not, if it's too much of a pain in the ass, scrap. Alrighty, so I'm gonna leave this overnight and come back tomorrow. But like I said, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. And in the meantime, between time, I'm gonna order some bolts for that. I'm gonna whole load of crap up there. The bent rads up there just to make it run. All the wiring. Uh, reservoir. Um, I'm gonna go see a guy named John in town a little bit later. He's got some uh, fairings as spares. So uh, he's uh, rebuilding a CBR as well. So I'll see what he's up to and uh, pick his brain about uh, how his rebuild's going. But obviously, forks still need a full rebuild. Calipers need a full rebuild. Uh, got all that stuff there. And uh, yeah, but I got my bun bench back. Bunch, bench, bench. Um, yeah. We'll see how that turns out, but it's probably going to turn out not very well. Well... <sighs> Took a break from uh, disassembling the bike to take advantage of this. Still on rubber. The march towards 100 hours continues. We will see. But uh, as long as it keeps air in both the tires, um, yeah, there's no reason to change it. Yeah. All right, so I'll let this sit overnight. Up the light here. Still looks as bad as it did yesterday. So, not even going to bother with these two here. They look just as shitty. Another thing I noticed is this thing must have been puking oil out of this brake for a long, long time because that stuff is pretty much welded on. So, um, yeah, this is going to come apart. Gonna pull the uh, transmission out, oil pan. I obviously have the side covers. This cleaned up actually pretty decent. No issues here. Most of this crap is gone. Um, just gonna put the cams back in. Uh, yeah, listed on eBay and color done because it's. Uh, it's a bit of a pointless exercise. I got other shit to do, and uh, this is so much better to do than trying to work on a misused 954. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I'll update this at the next juncture, wherever that might be.